Judge Glenda, Father Claudio, and his uh, singing ministry, to our dear Congressman Mark Go, members of the City Council led by the Honorable Vice Mayor Tino, my colleagues in public service, our special guest from MTC, thank you very much. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat na ibang nagsapa, kada tayo amin. First of all, I would like to give out some administrative announcement. Henceforth, effective Monday, I only want to see a 50% attendees for the flag raising ceremony. The rest, you can stay in your office. Second is, I want all department heads to implement a work from home arrangement with your employees for the next two weeks. Third is, I would like to introduce a new member of the management team. We have the new head of the city planning office, Ms. Donna Tabangin. Please stand up to be recognized. Thank you. Thank you very much. This will be short. We have been hearing that Baguio City is a model city. It's a nice to hear remark. However, will that free us from COVID-19? It will not. In fact, three weeks ago, we already sensed a surge in the number of COVID-19 cases in the city. And in the early June, lucky that we received a substantial amount of RT-PCR test kits from national government. And we cannot just simply, you know, use it for the city of Baguio. We have to share it with the other provinces because helping them will also help Baguio in the same manner that we are also helping other provinces surrounding the city of Baguio, including other parts of this country because with a simple mantra, helping them will help the city of Baguio. As I've mentioned, three weeks ago, we sensed a surge of cases. As early as June, we conducted or we were conducting an expanded testing. And I'm referring to the 10% of the various populations of each sector. And true enough, three weeks ago, we were able to sense that there is an increasing trend in the number of cases. Of this number, we sense that 29% of the positive cases are frequent travelers. In the same manner that our positivity rate is around 7%, and this is quite alarming. When you say positivity rate, rate is the number, is the percentage of positive patients every time we conduct either expanded testing or testing of contact trace individual. Around 40% of that, of the new cases, were identified through contact tracing. In the same manner that around 40 plus percent, 43 percent, were identified through expanded testing. Two weeks ago, I also came up with an executive order directing all barangay officials to make an announcement that all residents who are experiencing flu-like symptoms have to report or inform the barangay so that they can also be RT-PCR tested. Our situation, to be honest with you, is a bit alarming. Two days ago, we had a sudden increase of about 14 cases. Yesterday was 15 cases. And we continue to do a lot of contact tracing nowadays. In fact, last night, we even requested for additional contact tracers coming from the Philippine National Police, from the Armed Forces of the Philippines, and at the same time, from volunteers. For that matter, 
because of our present situation, we really need to institute more stringent measures. And I hereby spell out, spell out these new measures. Henceforth, we will now be implementing stricter border control and only essential and necessary travels we be allowed to the city of Baguio. Second, we will re-implement the lockdowns day every Sunday. Another announcement, we are imposing the liquor ban effective this day. And the reason for that is that we were able to detect several cases of construction workers because we did 10% of the construction workers, 10% testing of construction workers, or total population of the construction workers. And we found out that many, some, some construction workers were tested positive for COVID-19. Unfortunately, during the past few days, they were in a drinking spree with their fellow construction workers using only one glass. Same is happening in the other in the other barangays. In fact, we have monitored several gatherings wherein they violated the curfew hours. We will maintain the curfew hours at 10 o'clock p.m. The public market will be again closed every Sunday for disinfection. Last week, we did a three-day disinfection of the public market and working closely with Councillor Lawana. We will also disinfect every week or probably twice a week our satellite markets. And I'm also going to issue another executive order directing all establishments to make sure that all their toilets are disinfected two to three times a week. Another announcement that all personnel of banks we should be PCR tested. I'm closely working with our molecular lab in BGH and at the same time with a private molecular lab to lower the rate or the cost of this test. Um, Red Cross is imposing a cost of about 3,500 pesos. My request to these molecular labs is to impose the same cost to individuals who would like to be swab tested. Again, I would like to remind everyone to strictly observe the minimum health standard. That is, the proper wearing of masks, social or physical distancing, and observance of proper hygiene. Many are questioning my latest designation as contact tracer head of the national government. And this I have to say to them. We need to share our best practices. In the city, our average per patient is around 37 close contacts. We might be able to contact trace around 60, as much as 60 to 150 contacts per patient. But we can easily identify around 37 as contacts as close contacts. In other regions, 
the average is just five to six close contacts per patient. And we need to heighten their awareness that if we really want to fight COVID-19, they have to increase and enhance or establish their contact tracing capability. Again, may I say, helping them will help the city of Baguio. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. More announcement will be made in the next few days.